XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality for people with disabilities. My name is uh, Stuart Tucker Lundy, uh, and where I'm from is uh, actually, I live in Denver, Colorado, but I'm originally from the east coast of, uh, of Maryland. Um, so uh, currently I am uh, a producer and director for uh, Listen Productions. Um, it's a full service production company. So uh, yeah, I do uh, uh, I like making people look good. So that's what I do for a living. Pictures of Stuart as a young boy, a teenager on a bicycle, and an adult in a wheelchair. I was uh, 14 years old, and at, the t- at that time, I took a dive in the lake. Well, I dove in the lake when I was 14 years old. I rendered me C4, C5 uh, quadriplegic, and that was almost, almost 41, 40 some odd years ago. Uh, like I said, I'm 55 now, I've been in the wheelchair for 41 some odd years. Uh, I like to say that's the day that my life train changed dramat- dramatically as far as uh, the way I look at things, the way that things are. I had bought a pair of uh, Oculus, Oculus headsets, and uh, I had my wife put them on me. And uh, it was, I, the game that I got was, I think it was Freefall. Gameplay footage from Rush. In a first-person perspective, the player looks at the others in wingsuits around them before jumping off a high platform and soaring over green hills. The first game was uh, jumping out of a plane on a wingsuit, as the sim was. And that experience, for the first time, we're looking around and having a full uh, 180 or 360-degree angle. It was so fantastic. And then to look down and to know that normally I would look down into my lap, but looking down at my feet or looking down uh, at the bottom of the wingsuit and then taking that literal uh, leap of faith and you're leaping and you're going out and it just had, you can hear the wind going through your ears and everything else. I've uh, done uh, sail planing as far as the glider before and that was probably, probably one of the most adrenaline filled uh, excursions I've ever had. I had to place this to a, uh, a good second or third uh, with it because, uh, wow, wow, I got addicted to it. I'm, I see the potential for a lot of, uh, of different uh, applications for it, but that, but that particular one and then also having fun with it, studying, uh, uh, watching different uh, uh, documentaries, things like that in a immersive world. And it, uh, it helps and I found myself using it for different practices. To, uh, uh, for me, sometimes I get uh, down, just like everybody else does, and you know, and uh, especially in the winter time here in Colorado, I'm uh, not able to go out, things like that. So I would use it just to, for escape, a couple of minutes in the headsets, and I wasn't here in gloomy Colorado where the sidewalks are cluttered and with snow and things like that. I was on the beaches of Maui, you know, that kind of thing. So I think going forward, I think it's more, more or less just opening up your mind, uh, just saying this could be me. Or, and like I said, look at it look at, at it as a challenge. Um, because like I said, these problems aren't going away. And when I say problems, the problem of inclusion, we talk that all the time and we use it as a catchword and actually it's starting to be a catchword because we uh, have inclusive this, inclusive that. But I don't see it show up where it should be showing up. I think it's more of a fun word we like to use right now. So so let's put it back to where it needs to be. Let's, let's, let's honestly make it inclusive. Stewart's social media information, which can also be found in the description below. XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality for people with disabilities.